but he and his father eventually had differences with trainer and manager in the man who nurtured Randall in boxing, a longtime mentor back in the Knox. Bank account in his ledger because the stakes are a fight. Four years of his career. He's fought at the last two fights at 140. Well, the thing about Frankie Randall is that he was the Chavez. All right, so I'm wrong. So Carr is better off waiting and let said simply, be first. Good, he's making Randall reach out. Make him reach out, catch him when he comes in. That's right. Whoa, a good, good right hand. hand. Yep. Randall landing is heavy. That's right. Hard right hand over the top by Carr, partially blocked by Randall. Right. brilliantly a well-conceived fight plan. Now Randall cuts off. Doesn't Carr have to be hard, just put it there. Drop it. 90% of the time it'll land. The puncher. Oh, yep. Well, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He, uh, he understands. It's the most devastating punch. Right hand, it lands. Now, Randall on, just on, threw a good left hook. And you can believe he's got... Uh, Randall has to be careful because Obacar is winning these rounds. And the effect of that, George? Yeah, he's going to make him drop his hand. Gonna make the butt. Most ringside observers felt that Randall had been controlling Chavez in that fight, just as he did in the first of their two meetings. Things you notice here is that neither fighter seems to have the kind of good right hand by, hand by Frankie Randall right down the. It's an act of will. Go and throw. Good right hand by Obercar. So he gets a shot off and then he ties him up. And I want to tell you, it makes for a stinking fight. It really does. Watch how many times Obercar grabs. Well, he's pretty smart. Lands a punch here and there to keep the referee thinking action is going on. And if you can get away with that, you got the reach. Why not? Highest to the rib cage. Uppercut landed for Carr. Double left hook to the body and finally. Oh, that's what I mean. Younger. He's learned a lot in his years in the ring. The thing about Randall, he keeps his composure, his hands are up, sometimes 10 rounds. Shadow boxing before a fight. Against Oba Carr, Randall landing 23 of 52 shots in round. Oba Carr has got a good left jab. In that group, he felt like a fish out of water. So he was happy to come home. Shots in this round. Not the another shot. one. He hasn't got flat footed yet. Hard left hand to the top of the advantages in the movement he's making. I, all advantage if you ask that. The chopping right and left hand that Carr has landed and the body shots. And now Rand. <laughs> Carr flirting with his motion to the right. Randall begins to land more. Now Carr furiously wailing away to the. Sprinting. You got to take a breath. He comes right back, so he's in shape. Oh, oh, oh. oh Randall bodies Carl, knocks him down. Oh. Looks like following the red light. It's a one-point deduction from Randall for having failed to obey the referee's orders. Because once you get tied, the other guy can't hurt you. And Carl landing a hard right hand shot, and Randall his man to go knock Carl out. down both guys. Carr standing and countering Randall. Basil skin have held up really well against the chopping right hands and left hands. Carr landing. Neither fighter has ever scored a knockout past the eight. Glenn Moore at this stage of a fight, that's, that's a feat. Power has been drained by those body shots. In the welterweight division. In my command, whether my body is there or not. Played American fighters, highly skilled. You, you get a, someone to come after him a little bit more, it'll be a different fight. From Obacar and Frankie Randall. Carr seemingly getting the better of it. Oh, I don't work on that. My teeth, man. Oba Motor City, Carr!